many people would argue that Vic Mercer is one of our greatest Canadians. I'm here to agree with them. No, let's start from the beginning. His parents loved each other very much. He was born on October 17th, 1969 in St. John's, Newfoundland. He had a fairly normal upbringing, he was middle class. One thing to point out though, he was gay and he got bullied in high school for it. Thing is, he didn't care. He pressed on. Sort of. After dropping out of high school, him and a few of his friends decided to make a little theater group and they did rather well of themselves. Moving into bigger media, CBC picked up Big Mercer when he was 18 and put him into a broadcasting radio. He talked about politics of his own little flair, a cheeky satire, and the occasional childish joke that we laughed at anyways. After radio, he moved on to TV. He started his own one-man show called Show Me the Button and I'll Press It. And he definitely pressed it. He did so well on that one, the next year he did his next show, I've Killed Before, I'll Kill Again, and from there he did pretty well too. Since he was getting a little lonely, he decided to join the This Hour Has 22 Minutes cast. He was famous for doing his little segments where he did talking to Americans, talking to them about issues in Canada that they don't really exist. Now, after mooching off This Hour Has 22 Minutes for 8 seasons or so, he decided to go off on his own again and make the Big Mercer Report. From here we know him for making rants about things like politics, bullying, sexuality, and what a bunch of double-double drinking hockey nut pacifists we are in Canada. From all these, Mercer has awards out the wazoo. Not actually, those things are pretty pointy. He's received 25 Gemini Awards, he's received the 30th Annual Bob Edwards Award, the Sir Peter Ustinov Comedy Award, and the Governor General Performing Arts Award. He's also received honorary degrees from multiple universities, and a high school degree from Lake to what? That's not even a universe place. The real place is Landmark East. But that doesn't matter, it's a high school. No one cares about high school. We all know that. So he goes on the show, you don't really need to go to school, just go out, be awesome, and you get degrees anyways. He's also performed in multiple charities, such as Walk for Life, Spread the Net, and the Government One Ton Challenge. One Ton not referring to the amount of debt we have. Now, Lake Mercer has done a lot for Canada. He may not get little girls in wheelchairs to walk again, but he does what he can. He's educated us in ways that don't put us to sleep about politics and what goes on in our country. He's a funny guy and he's done a lot more than you and I have. I mean, you have to be pretty influential to get a guy who was a former Premier of Ontario and the former Federal Liberal Leader to go skinny dipping a few on your own TV show. 